Today I'm cooking for a redneck. I'm going to make some stew and uh, this is the reason why. I got some new pig iron and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So I thought I'd give her a whirl and uh, I'll show you as I go. Alright, I got my pig iron all unwrapped. I just got to give it a quick wash but before I thought I'd show you the first step. So, um, oh I forgot. Alright, the first step is um, you get your meat and I use a little bit of flour, a bit of salt, and a bit of pepper in this little square pan here. And uh, I'm, before I put it into the pan to brown, before I put it into the slow cooker, that way it seals in the juices and stuff like that and gets it a better taste. So I'll show you when that's going. Alright, so I've got my flour and salt and pepper in there and uh, the meat here. So it's just kind of uh, a process of you just do a little bit at a time and take a few, put them in there, smush them around and then you know place them in your pan and then you want to just let them get brown on every side You need, and you don't want to overcrowd the pan because then it will get all like watery and soupy and gross so you want it to get like a, a kind of like a crispy outside um yeah so I'll show you in that so you just bang off the flour real good you don't want lots on there but just enough so you get a crispy coating so when it's nice and hot, you just want to put it in the pan and it'll get a good sizzle onto it. And you just want to do one at a, you know, one at a time, each side at a time. And uh, you don't want to overcrowd your pan, like I said before, because then it will turn gross. You just want it to be nice and hot. And when it's ready, you just take your pincher. And it will, it will release easy when it's time to turn it. So it just gets a little bit of a brown on it and you want to do it on all the sides and then put it into your pot and do it all. Alright, so I got the meat all browned up. That took probably about a half an hour to get it all done. And uh, you don't cook it all the way through, you just brown each side real quick. And I got my onion chopped up and my potato chopped up into, you know, good sized pieces. So that we, you know, they're going to cook all the way through. And uh, I cheaped out and just got the carrot chips. So I'm going to throw it all in the slow cooker and top it up with some water and let her cook. Alright, I got everything in the pot there and just topped it just to, to very tippy tip of the vegetables and the meat there. And uh, I left the meat on the bottom to cook about halfway through and then I'm going to give it a stir and then it will uh, hopefully cook uh, the right way. I don't know. That's just the way I'm doing it, so hopefully it will turn out. And I'm going to put it on low and just let it go. Here we go. Now we just have to wait for the deliciousness to get ready. Alright, the stew's all done. That was uh, yesterday I did that. I like it to sit overnight. So I just warmed up a little bit for tonight. And I'm going to do some rice on the bottom and put some stew over the top and give them some beets and that will be dinner. So there we go, stew over rice and some beets. So remember, if you ate today, thank your old lady.